Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create 2D fire effects without using any plugins. It will be very fun tutorial, also it will be easy to create. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Let's create a solid layer. Let's call it flame. Change the background color to black. Now go to effects and presets, and search for CC Mr. Mercury. Apply it to the layer. Then again search for fill, and apply it to the layer. Change this color to a fire color. Change the animation type to fire. Now change the value like me. First change the Y axis value to 0, and X axis value to 12. I think I made a mistake here. We have to change the anchor point, not the whole layer. So change the anchor point position on the bottom. Just like this. Alright, now change the velocity value to 0.3 Birth rate value to 3.0 Longevity value 1.8 Resistance value 0.02 Extra value 0.5 Blob birth size value 0.25 Blob death size value 0.03 Now it's coming to the shape Select the layer, and go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fastbox Blur. Apply it on the layer. Change the Blur Radius value to 8. Again go to Effects and Presets, and search for Simple Choker. Apply it on the layer. Increase the Choke Matte value until we remove the blurriness. I think 18 is good. Nice. Our first layer of fire animation is done. You can change the scale of the animation from here. Now select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Then just change the X axis value to 8. Also change the color, so we can see the difference. Then change the birth rate value to 2. And longevity value to 1.5. Now make another copy of the top layer. For this one, change the x-axis value to 6. Birth rate value to 1.5. Longevity value to 1.2. And change the color to a different color.
You can scale it up if you need. Just make sure you select all the layers at the same time. It will be better, if you move forward this layers a little bit. So the starting of the fire animation looks good. Alright, now select all the layers, and pre-compose them. Give it a name you like. Now select the layer, and search for glow effect. Apply it on the layer. Then change the glow threshold value to 100%. Glow radius value to 110. Now this looks perfect to me. Our 2D fire animation is done. You can also add a background. Use gradient ramp effect for the background. And it done. You can change the color of the fire from here anytime. I think blue color looks much better on this. So I hope this tutorial will help you for your future projects. Plugins are expensive, so try to create anything without using plugins. So this is all for today. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and try to learn something new.